Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Folly from the block. And welcome to podcast 2.3, the periodic table. All trends are due to size, nuclear charge, and maybe shielding. That answers almost every question. Electronegativity, definition, equation, trend. Ionic radius, actually, we got rid of the equation. Ionic radius is what's the size of an ion and ionization energy. We also talk about successive ionization to predict a family. Let's hop to it. Let's hop to it. Explain the main way atoms differ, and you just explained every trend. Size. Bigger is less attractive. High school romances don't last through college, because remember, if you're really far away, you're much more likely to be drawn away by somebody else. Okay? Nuclear attraction. More protons means more attraction. So that, so size and nuclear attraction explain everything. Okay? Shielding. So if I have a nucleus, it's positive, and I have shells of electrons, and I'm an electron out here, I'm attracted to this nucleus, but these block it. Okay, so shielding blocks the attraction. An inner layer of electrons blocks the attraction for the nucleus. Include these three things in the pe periodic table. is the easiest chapter. Electronegativity is the ability to attract electrons in a bond. Okay, we got rid of electron affinity, so don't worry about it. The trend, fluorine is the Mac Daddy. Francium is a big loser, right? So if you're trying to attract electrons, you don't want to lose electrons. So why is fluorine the Mac Daddy? Fluorine is small, remember, because it's on the top of the periodic table, and is attractive because it has so many protons for its row. So it'll be able to attract bonded electrons easily. Notice how I redefine the trend. That's the underlying part. And then, I'm sorry, I thought I chopped out all of my electron affinity things. Okay. Ionic radius. This is the size of an ion. Cations get smaller. Why? So if I have something that has, say, um, I'll just make it 10 positives. Sure. There's my nucleus with 10 positives. And I have electrons and shells. And two, another electron and a shell. Eight, another electron and a shell. And let's say it's two. Now, if my ion, cations, are positive, so if I become plus two, what happens is I become full, but my size changes from, call this 100, to, say, 75 because I lose the whole shell, right? That was 100, now it's 75. Because I lose the whole shell. So cations get smaller. Why? They lose entire energy levels. And an energy level can also be called a shell. Anions get bigger. Why? So the reason why anions get bigger is if I have a shell of electrons, so I've got my positive nucleus, and I'm looking at this particular shell, and I've got an electron here, and I sneak in another electron, well, guess what? These two electrons repel each other. And if they repel each other, they actually get bigger. Anions get bigger. Why? More electrons cause more repulsion. So if I call it repulsion, repulsion. Ionization energy. It's the energy to remove one electron from the valence shell of a gaseous atom. So if I'm a gaseous atom, I would turn to x plus 1 plus an electron. Fluorine is the Mac Daddy. That means it's the best. So if I were to draw a periodic table thing again, best, best. Okay. Francium is a big loser. So it's the energy it takes to remove it. Fluorine is small and attractive because it has so many protons for its row. It's small because it has fewer shells. Remember, shell and energy level are the same thing. So it takes more energy to move of an electron. Notice how I redefine the trend. There are second and third ionizations possible. So you can keep pulling off electrons. So just to look at this graphically, periodic, periodic, periodic. So the biggest ones, now we typically ignore the noble gases, but... Um, this would be fluorine, which have the highest of all of the other ones if we cross off the noble gases. Ionization energies can be used to predict the family. Okay? So when you leave the full, stable, small, and attractive noble gas state, it requires a huge change in energy. So if you notice here, this is about 500. This is about 4,500. The difference here is about 3,500. Difference here is about 2,500. The difference here is about 4,000. Difference here is about 3,000. Difference here is about 4,000. Difference here is about 5,000. Difference here is about 4,000. 
difference here is it's 141,000. It's about 120. Whoops, that's 120,000. So what you should notice is that there's a exponential change in the second and the tenth. What that meant is this first one got to the noble gas. And this one left the noble. And remember, it's because nobles are full, stable, and small. So that means this one got to noble because it's the one before the huge jump. So this one left noble. So whenever there's a huge jump, that's one that left the noble. So that means the first jump, I have a periodic table? Nope. First jump got me to the noble gas. So here's one, two, wee. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So what this is telling me is my first jump psh, got me here. And my second jump left the noble gas state. Oh, sad. So that means this guy right here is a halogen. Now, if I were to try and make that make sense again here, the ninth one would have got me here. So this is my first. My second one lands me here. Oops, I tried to put second, and I put SN2. This would get me to the third. This would get me to the fourth. This would get me to the fifth. This would get me to the sixth. This would get me to the seventh. This would get me to the eighth. So my ninth one should be small, and my tenth one should be huge. And look. That follows that. Notice how we ignore the D block. Okay? We'll have a lot of those to go through. But when you leave the noble gas state, it requires a huge amount of energy, and then you kind of count backwards. Okay? So if I would have guessed that it was the fifth level, would my first jump get me to the noble gas? No. So that's it. Review. Ionization energy. Electronegativity. Ionic radius. All have definitions you must memorize. Ionization has energy as you don't need to know your exceptions. Size, attraction, and shielding explain it all. Shielding applies to vertical trends only. F is the Mac Daddy. Francium is a big loser. F is not the Mac Daddy of size, nor the Mac Daddy of podcasts. Toodles.